Friday, Mr. Gatekeeper here. We have a Texas Star, Sweet 16. Let me move my hands. Yeah, we don't need both of right now. And uh, let's see here, we've done quite a few things to this. First thing is, is I uh, went ahead and converted it over to Class C. Okay, A, B to Class C. And um, right around this area right here, there, uh, Texas Star puts a relay for the AB bias uh, circuit. So what I went ahead and done is just eliminated that relay. And we're just basically just using the key in circuit over here in this section to key this, the, uh, the main relay. The way it's done factory is basically this relay is hooked into the relay over here. So when this relay keys, it gives it the ground over here. So... We went ahead and redone all that right there, so where basically this really has its own keying circuit, which is right here. Okay, so the the, the uh, fellow that owns this amp, which is this ugly cotton picker right here, he wanted complete C with no remnants of A B anywhere. So we took it all out, all the sandbar. Actually, I got the bag over here somewhere. Pop that over. Yeah, that's it right there. I always like to keep bags just in case. That is not everything that came out of it, though. I think it's all this right here. Combined. No, that's for the... Well, that's not all of it. There's more stuff that came out of it, but there's a lot of it right there. No, that's your, that, that's your 667. Never mind. Well, anyway, I guess I didn't keep it. I thought I kept everything. Maybe it's somewhere else. But anyway, back to what we were doing. <laughs> and, um... He himself did the little power conversion mod. As you see, all of the uh, factory uh, where the fan hookup is, um, the fuse holders, all that is done away with. And he's utilized, he's done this himself. I'm going to give credit where credit need, you know, needs to be given to, man. We ain't going to be acting like I've done something I didn't do here. He's utilized two four gauge wires in here and has put two hot bu a hot bus and a ground bus in here. And as you see, he's got the four gauge coming in. He's got a big, what, what gauge is this copper? Six, six gauge? Solid. Solid six gauge <coughs> copper current bar that goes all the way through this hot man. It couldn't be done any better if you ask me. And then he's got each two pill section feeding from both of these bars. Really nice done, Mr. 409. He had a little bit of ideas for me with that current bar, but that's the only idea I gave him. He'd done it all on his own. All right, let's go ahead and show the back of it real quick. And I like the way he done that. Went ahead and put those grommets in there just to get, make it, give it a good look. Got a little button right there. What was right there, by the way? The main power wires. That's those, right. those eight gauge puny pathetic power wires. Yeah, like, like this in mind, right? I'm probably going to have to end up getting him to do the power mod for me, too, man. Mr. Gatekeeper's a busy guy on his cap picking him. But uh, looks nice, man. I like it. I like the way he's got the fan uh, lid on there with, with all that done. And I uh, went ahead and uh, put some new feedback circuits as well. The old, the old ones were just kind of worn out, wasn't they? Just yes, they were. Kind of looked kind of bad. Put some new 104s on there. And there you go. So we're just going to see what this cap picker's going to do. It's yeah. Class C now. We're running off an uh, unregulated 200 amp supply over that way. X Force, baby. Yep. X Force. They got it. That's what they say. Yeah. They got it. All right. We're going to show the voltage. I ain't into the politics, y'all. <coughs> I love something about each builder out there, man. We all got our negatives. There ain't one human on this earth that ain't got some negative. All right. We are floating at 20 volts, 20.4 volts. All right. What we're going to do first before we key this, I just want to show you how much we're going to be putting into it. We're going to be rocking a Texas Star 250. This thing right here has been completely referred by my buddy over at Texas Star, Mr. Mike. Great Mike guy. Great guy. He, um, it's got 9.2290s in it. I mean, this thing right here is rocking. This thing right here is rocking. We'll go ahead and let you see what that's going to be doing first. All right, we're going to be showing with a green button in first and then a green button out. So go ahead and make sure the green button's out, and we're going to show them how much that's doing first. Green button's in. All right, well, yeah, leave it in. That's what I'm talking about. We'll look, do it in. All right, we're on a 1,000-watt slug. Come on now. Tune in. I got this dang light on, man. It's kind of hard to see it here. Hold on a second. There you go. 
I think you got it. Okay, thousand watt slug. We got the driver on. You can't see that, but that's fourteen volts, 14, right? Fourteen. Fourteen volts. Fourteen point nine. Need to turn it down. Fourteen nine. <clears throat> yep. Need to turn it down. It is. Turn it down a little bit. Thirteen. Right there. Thirteen eight. Seven. I just like to show everything, man, so everybody sees exactly what's going on. I don't want to have anything hidden. Okay, 13, 7, 13, 8. All right, <coughs> here we go. This is this is the driver 2290 box. Don't turn this amp off, man. We got both of them on. Sorry about that. All right, this is just the driver. Do yeah. That's about 80 bird. Do yeah. All right, now go ahead and hit the green button in. Out. Out, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's about 110 to 120. Sorry, I ain't got a chair I'm sitting in today, y'all. That's about 110 to 120. We'll show that one more time. This is this is my new bird meter, by the way. The, uh, the red one showed it doing about the same thing, about 110, 120 last time. A good buddy of mine doesn't believe it's doing that, but, uh, you know, that's what it's showing on this end, man. Bird is bird. Folks, he did make good on his promise to get one extra bird meter. Yes, I did. I did promise that, didn't I? So we got two bird meters now. We'll be getting them hooked all up in line. Oh, yeah. That's a hair past 100. I say probably 110 just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> all right, flip her on. Flip that back at, uh, push yeah. that back in. Flip her on. All righty, here we go. So we're going to be hitting it with about 100, uh, 80 bird first. Yes. 80 bird. 80 bird produces this right here. Good. Right there, about 600 bird. <clears throat> Focus in a little better. Good. Right there, about six, 650. Six, 650. All right, go ahead and flip it out. Let's give her about 110 dri bird drive. All right. Do yeah. Do yeah. That's about seven, seven hundred, seven twenty-five, seven seven twenty-five. <coughs> All right. That's pretty good, man. A little twenty-two ninety box hitting that. Now we could utilize this box, turn the voltage up a little bit on the driver and all this and that, and get eight hundred out of it, no problem. But just to show y'all what this cotton picker can do, if you want it to, let's show them the thousand watt dead key. We're going to bump the dead key up just a little. This thing will do a thousand. I don't really recommend him running it like that. Let me see where we get. We're almost there. All right, is that hitting it? Yeah. All right. We just turn the dead key up on the radio just a little. I'm just kind of just showing you all I wouldn't be running it like this, but here we go. There's your thousand watt. Of course, it's going to swing back. Oh, yeah. Swing back a little not bit. Not much. But not much, but, you know, still, you don't want to run your stuff that <laughs> way. But, you know, he wanted me to show that, y'all, just so you can see it. We'll do a thousand. But, but I say run it about 800 bird, man, and let it be, you know. Seven, eight hundred bird. So there you go. Anybody wanting uh, any power mods or anything resembling this right here to your Sweet 16, just holler at us. Or if you got a Viking 3200, we'll be glad to buy it from you. Yeah, I'm, I, I am in the uh, the market for a good Viking 3200. I've seen a few out there, but... Uh, and if anybody wants to donate a Broke Down Texas Star for cheap, cheap, or just give it to us, we will take that too. All right. Y'all hear the guy, man. Any any kind of broke amps, we love them. We'll take them. All right, man. We're going to go in and enjoy this Sunday, y'all. Just want to get this video out the way so he can take this uh, beautiful cotton picker back home with him. And uh, I hope he enjoys. Think you're going to enjoy? Hell yes. All right. Mr. Gatekeeper out here around Northeast Georgia. God bless everybody. We're good and go. Bye, y'all. Come back now. I hope you just you didn't, hear? I hope you just didn't break my screen. <laughs>